Hey guys, welcome to our first Team Tour Thursday. Uh, realistically, if there's gonna go up on Tuesday or Thursday, depending on when we can get our schedule going. Um, this is kind of a hybrid uh, Team Tour and character profile um, because Spider Supreme is so many points that going over him would be basically doing a team. And then um, it, I just felt like it didn't need two videos. So we're just gonna do one. So this is a 300 point Spider-Man family theme team with Soldier Supreme from the new Spider-Man set, Mary Jane from the new Spider-Man set, and the Daredevil from Empire. Uh, I really like this Daredevil, it's a good utility piece and um, just helps us get a little bit more points. Um, he's also a good not lockdown piece, but we'll go over that. Um, also on our sideline here, we do have Arachnite and Soldier Supreme. Um, the server purpose, we'll go over Spider Supreme and I'll explain it. And then we're also playing Soldier Supreme with Cap Shield, because we have five points left over. And 21 at range is really good against most things. It makes him really hard to hit, since he can just start with it. And then when he gets down towards the bottom, I mean, he'll have a little bit more resistance of a 20 so he never goes below that while he has his shield uh right so it's pretty good um just kind of like having that as an item but you have five points you can kind of play whatever you want so we'll go over soldier supreme first off massive team abilities he's got cosmic so he goes every turn mystic so you hurt yourself when you hit him and he is spider-man family which is that new spider-man family which is super senses on a six so really great and then keywords we've got avengers defenders spider-man family warp world detective mystical and soldier a lot of good ones there um if you have a good 20 point avengers piece you can swap that out and um, play an avengers theme team because daredevil is also an avenger um but the coolest thing about him that i really love is his trait i'm used to being four people in one when spider supreme is ko'd by an attack before removing him from the game you may generate up to two characters named Arachnite, Captain America, Doctor Strange, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, or Soldier Supreme from your sideline on their last non-KO click, then heal them each two clicks. The generated characters can't share a name, and their total points of the generated characters must be equal to or less than Spider Supreme's point value. This game, the generated characters aren't scored when they're KO'd. So, he doesn't die. You generate them, then he dies. They score the 250. They don't score for these guys, then these guys come in. Um, realistically, other things you could play is a really high point Captain America. Um, there's the Time Diamond Spider-Man that I play a lot. Um, these ones are kind of the best choice, in my opinion, um, but they are chases. So if you don't have these two, don't play them. Um, and then we're gonna look at his dial. He's got 11 clicks. Starts with an eight running shot, which is a really good value on the new smaller maps. Uh, Pen Psychic means he's getting through those reducers. And uh, 19 with Invincible, that'll be a 21 with Invincible because of the shield from range. And then a five Perplex, so he's hitting at a 13, or he has a 22 defense. Um, his range is eight, so on small maps, he sees half of it in one move. Um, he then goes to a charge with a 10, uh, 12 precision strike, a 19 close combat, um, and then outwit for two. And then he goes running shot and kind of alternates. Um, he gets hypersonic towards the end. Uh, then we've got these two special abilities. I really like all the numbers on here. He's kind of ridiculous. So we'll open up the card here. Uh, can't solve the multiverses problems until we deal with this. It's a trait. He's got super senses traded, which means with the new Spider-Man team ability, he super senses on a four, five, or six. So that's 50%. He's not getting hit. He's going every turn because he's cosmic energy and that mystics. Really good. And then on, um, he takes a maximum of one damage from attacks made by opposing characters that didn't begin on an opponent's starting force. So tokens you generate or people that you bring into the game, like these guys, the cops from the new Kingpin, um, any of the sideline trouble alerts, uh, let's cause trouble, those guys, 
can't really hurt Spider Supreme, which is really nice. His special uh, are stop clicks with regeneration and toughness. So he can heal back up off of those, which are really strong. And then he just got a bunch of standard abilities. Uh, just kind of a really cool figure. And plus his sculpt is super cool. Kind of reminds me of like a Simpsons with the way the mouth is. Um, but I really like this character. Um, we can't move on with them until we go over Arachnite and Soldier Supreme. Because once he dies, you're going to bring in Arachnite, right? So he's got a trait. A broken mind, the arachnid, the knight, the CEO, the scientist, stealth and super senses, and since he is Spider-Man family on the back here, that is super senses on a four through six, and he's mystics. Um, he also has free, choose one, the last until you choose again, hypersonic flurry, shape change, outwit, so he gets a second rollout, or he's gonna do a lot of damage, it's really good. Then he's got a special attack power, of precision strike, once per turn when the arachnid KOs an opposing character, you may roll a d6 on a three through six, choose an opposing character, then place Arachnite adjacent to that character and make a close attack target of that character. So he can kind of jump around and make more damage. We like that. He's also got a stop click with regeneration, toughness and willpower on it. He ignores elevation and characters for movement and ignores elevation for targeting. Uh, let's go over why I say he is a good choice. So defenders, Spider-Man family and mystics, very good team abilities. Um, he's going to go to his last click and then heal two. He's going to be on this willpower click, which kind of sucks, but he does have steel energy on this click, so he can heal back up. Um, you could also play him with the new Venom symbiote, um, so Soldier Supreme would drop that, and then he could pick it up, and then he could heal past, which is kind of cool. Um, so he can get up to there, but he's got a stop click, so he's not going to die immediately, and this is also a regen, so he could stay alive a little bit longer. He's got his probability control so you can make rerolls. Um, just like a little bit of a utility piece basically. Um, for 100 points, we're bringing him in and he could potentially stay alive a little bit longer. He also hits decently hard. So that's why Arachnite plus best sculpt in that set, hands down. And then Soldier Supreme is our other bring in, right? Um, there's some good Doctor Strange, unfortunately. Like Sinister Strange is Sinister Strange, um, uh, Supreme, um, so they're not Doctor Strange. But this one's pretty good. So we've got a trait. Once per turn, when one or more friendly characters within range and line of fire would be hit, you may roll 2d6. If you do and your roll is equal to or greater than the attacker's final attack roll, the attack automatically misses all targets and all targets heal one click. So this is another healer and you can roll up against somebody. Um, he's got prob, right? And then these guys have prob. So you can try to get it to a lower roll where then Strange can do this. And then you can um, heal up your guys, try to get Arachnite and Supreme up a little bit higher. He then has a stop click. I'm sorry, he doesn't have a stop click. Uh, he then has a special defensive power of combat reflexes, energy shield defection, and invulnerability. So plus two when you're trying to hit him, and then he reduces it by two. At the end of your turn, choose closer range until your next turn when an opposing character targets Soldier Supreme. With the attack of the chosen type, modify their attack by minus one. Makes him a little bit harder to hit. And then he has a leadership when he uses it and succeeds. You may also heal one click to all adjacent friendly characters. Um, so we're going to flip that over. So he has that special... Um, defense and damage power on his last click so at this point you're gonna have to hit him down but he'll start here because we're gonna heal him too he's got percentages and strike he's got charge he's got mystics and he's defenders but he can use his uh counter ability and negate those hits so we're taking off damage that could potentially be dealt to our pieces and then we can survive a little bit longer um, just gives us some extra cool power and utility um, that I really think is the best options. Um, let's go over Daredevil. This Daredevil's been on a bunch of my Avengers teams. I've used him many times. He's a very good piece. We're playing him at 25 points. He's traded stealth always. Ignores uh, characters and elevation for movement. Ignores um, hindering for targeting, which means he's shooting through stealth. Um... He only has two clicks, which are both flurry end caps and probability controls. So he's a lockdown piece. He has triple targets. So you run him up into melee, 
target these three pieces with a flurry, in cap, in cap, in cap, in cap, in cap, in cap, you're not doing anything clear. Um, and then he's gonna prop himself. He's also got super senses on a six because he's Spider-Man family and that's really good. So we have a lockdown piece here which can help to support our Spider Supreme. And then our last piece is this new Mary Jane. Uh, I played against this piece during our sneak peek uh, pre-release and she's pretty good. Uh, kind of like this this piece, so I figured we'd use her. And so she starts with a rally on ones. When a friendly character with Spider-Man family uses super senses, you may remove one of Mary Jane's rally dice to re-roll it. So stack her up with rally dice. And then when any of our guys, it'll be these ones and uh, she's got it and Daredevil's got it, roll their super senses, you can re-roll it. So it gives you another 50% chance try to hit it um she's spider-man so she's got super senses on her as well and then she doesn't really do anything she has no movement attack power she has no range she's not doing any damage but all she's doing is making you re-roll uh, your uh super senses and this is not a range or line of fire thing it's when you use it you can do it because mary jane and she's also got probability control and support and with new support you just Heal them, doesn't matter if they're base, so she can run up and give Arachnite some more HP before he dies and go slam into somebody. So I think it's a good like utility heal piece. It's pretty cool. And you get like this kind of all around flavor to it. Um, but that's gonna be it for our Spider Supreme uh, theme team and showcase. Um, really like this figure. I'm gonna be building more stuff out of this set. I have some other teams coming up, but I really wanna show this one off. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, check out some of our other videos, leave any comments in the description and we'll get to them when we can. We've got some other teams brewing, so stay tuned.